Let's look at the height in centimeters of six students. The original day to x is 150, 172, 169, 183, 155 and 179. These numbers are large and it is hard to calculate the mean and variance. So we reduce each value by 150. This is called coding. Day 2 after coding is y, and they are 0, 22, 19, 33, 5 and 29. We know y is x minus 150. Let's put all values on the axis. We see that coding shifts all values to the left by a certain distance. However, the distance between each number is not changed. If you connect corresponding x and y values, you can see that all these lines are parallel. Let's calculate the mean and variance of x and y. x bar is the sum of all x's, divided by 6, which is 168. Variance x is the sum of all squares, divided by 6, minus the square of x bar. It is 142.67. Now y is x minus 150. And these are all y values. y bar is the sum of all y's, divided by 6, which is 18. We can see that y bar is x bar minus 150. Variance y is the sum of all y squares, divided by 6, minus the square of y bar. It is also 142.67. So as a general rule, if y is x minus a, then y bar is x bar minus a. And the variance remains the same. We know that coding shifts all values to the left by a certain distance, but the distance between values is not changed. Therefore, the mean is shifted by the same distance, but the variance remains the same. When solving coding problems, remember to introduce y, and keep with the two facts. Now let's look at an example. The heights, x centimeter, of a group of 82 children are summarized as follows. Sigma x minus 130 is minus 287. Standard deviation of x is 6.9. First, find the mean height. We know n is 82. We introduce y and let y equal x minus 130. Then we know sigma y is minus 287 and the standard deviation of y is also 6.9. Using the first fact, we know y bar is x bar minus 130. y bar is sigma y over n, which is minus 287 over 82. This is minus 3.5. So x bar is minus 3.5 plus 130, which is 126.5. Second, find sigma x minus 130 squared. We know var y is sigma y squared over n, minus y bar squared. Sigma y squared is sigma x minus 130 squared. n is 82. y bar is minus 3.5. From the second fact, we know var y is equal to var x. So it is 6.9 squared. Therefore, Sigma x minus 130 squared is 4908.52. Another way to solve coding problems is to manipulate sigma expressions. Let's look at two sigma properties. We write out sigma x minus a, as x1 minus a, plus x2 minus a, and all the way to xn minus a. We combine all x terms and get x1 plus x2 and all the way to xn. There are n number of a's. Therefore, sigma x minus a is sigma x minus n a. Sigma x minus a squared is x1 minus a squared, plus x2 minus a squared, all the way to xn minus a squared. Open each square and we get x1 squared minus 2ax1 plus a squared, plus x2 squared minus 2ax2 plus a squared and all the way to xn squared minus 2axn plus a squared. Combine all x squared terms and we get x1 squared plus x2 squared and all the way to xn squared. Combine all 2ax terms together and take 1 the common factor 2a. We get minus 2ax1 plus x2 plus all the way to xn. 
and there are n number of a squared. Therefore sigma x minus a squared is sigma x squared minus 2 a sigma x plus n a squared. These are the two sigma properties. Using the two sigma properties, let's solve the same problem again. Using the first property, we know sigma x minus 130 is sigma x minus 82 times 130, and it is minus 287. Therefore, sigma x is 82 times 130 minus 287, which is 10373. The mean x bar is sigma x over n. So it is 126.5. We get the same answer. For the second part, we know var x is sigma x squared over n, minus x bar squared. This is sigma x squared over 82, minus 126.5 squared. It is 6.9 squared. Therefore, sigma x squared is 1,316,088.52. Using the second property, we know sigma x minus 130 squared is sigma x squared minus 2 times 130 times sigma x, plus 82 times 130 squared. Substitute in all the numbers and we get the answer as 4908.52. This is also the same as the previous approach. In this class, we learned, coding is y equals x minus a. After coding, y bar is x bar minus a, and var y is equal to var x. When solving coding problems, introduce y and let y equal x minus a. Then stick with the two above facts. You can also manipulate sigma expression using these two properties.